want to talk about the quarter with Hans Vesberg, the chairman and the CEO of Verizon. Hans, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you morning. for having me. It, it looks like the stock is trading more off the guidance that you gave for 2023, because when you look through some of those numbers, uh, it's a little lower than the street had been anticipating. When I, when I look at the guidance, 455 to 485, that compares with the street estimate of 497. You've got a lot of other guidance numbers that we can look through, but the reaction that you're seeing here this morning, is that what you think it is, too? Uh, it's hard to say in the in the training, trading before the opening, so it's a little hard to say. Let's see how the day turns out. I think we had a very solid fourth quarter. We delivered on all our numbers. We continue to generate cash more than anybody else. We had an EBIT of almost 48 billion last year. And we continue with a very strong uh, uh, dividend, 16 years of consecutive growth of our dividend to our shareholders. Uh, so I think we have a very strong company. Then we had a year last year where actually I was disappointed over the second quarter, really disappointed. We didn't perform. Uh, took a lot of actions in the third quarter, started seeing some of improvements in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, especially on the consumer business, we saw improvements, we saw momentum, and that's what we're coming into in 23. So there's a lot of things to do. It's a very uh, competitive market. We are well positioned, fantastic network, which is only getting better, and we have a cash generation that nobody else has. The, the consumer wireless business, that's the one that you've been running. You talk about the disappointment you had in the first half. Um, you, you did warn in July and brought yeah, numbers down I did. for the year. Um, you talked about, though, in the fourth quarter, you had already told people that you had seen growth in that consumer wireless sector. We're seeing some of the growth numbers today. Um, the expectations, though, for the growth that you're seeing for 2023, I think that's below what the street was expecting, too. Wireless retail postpaid phone net ads, 41,000. The street was looking for 75,000, I think. So what, what are you seeing right now just on the ground? Uh, so on the ground, I spend a lot of time on the consumer business. I mean, first of all, our wireless uh, uh, phone net ads in the, in the fourth quarter was 217,000. Yeah. The business side is doing extremely well. I mean, we have six consecutive quarters, more than 150,000. Uh, phone net ads uh, in the in the business side. On the consumer side, yes, you rightly said we had 41,000 new net ads in the fourth quarter. But important for us, we were coming with the momentum into the quarter. We saw softness in certain segments for us because we were not performing well. We addressed that with new offerings. Uh, we also decided to regionalize more the organization uh, to see that we're actually combating more locally because the network is so good that we see traction where we build this the new spectrum that we have. And finally, we also allocated money differently. So I think that is what we're seeing right now coming through in our numbers. And I spent a lot of time in the stores with our employees meeting customers during the holiday season, which was very interesting holiday season because the it was a little bit, the store traffic for us has grown uh, quarter over quarter, but what we saw was the intent to do business is much higher. Mm. Uh, customers come into the store and they want to buy and they know what they want. So I think that's a sort of both a little bit uh, COVID, but also that people are using digital much more to browse before they come to the store. And that's just good for us because our conversion rates in the store is really great right now. Uh, what do your traffic numbers look like in the store post post Christmas, post holiday season? It's actually kept up and we keep up. The, uh, that's why also I have been focusing so much on the consumer business because we wanted to continue to that momentum that we had in the fourth quarter into the first quarter. So we have seen continued good store traffic uh, and good conversion rates. Uh, but we also have been very surgical in certain segments. We were soft, so we actually came with new offerings. There are certain segments where you're just performing extremely well. High-end, uh, premium uh, segment, for example, very low churn, lot of step-ups where customer go to the next, pl next plan. That is working well. The low end of the premium hasn't been really good for us. We came with new offerings. And then in the prepaid or the value segment, we also introduced new brands where we position us ourselves a little bit higher up. So.